then let's have a sort of description of what people are wearing it today. <laughs> Shorts, wellies, check shirts. What are you looking for with your mates today then? Um, the bands, definitely the bands. Yeah. I think it depends on the situation. So if you've done um, an assessment in a lesson, then I think written feedback is, is the best because when you come to do that next lesson and you need to do another assessment, if you do another assessment that lesson, you can look back at your work and say, right, that's been written down, I need to improve on that, and then you can put more of those in into that bit of assessment. Okay, give this a go. Don't try that at home. Okay, the other dangerous thing about uh, gases is if you get loads of gas built up, uh, which we've got in these bubbles here, we can get a big fireball. And what we're going to do is set fire to that on someone's hand. So, we've got loads of bubbles of methane gas here. Great. Yeah, but we need, you need to have eye protection. Yeah. Take the bubbles off the bottom, get your thumb out of the way. And finally tonight, the Glastonbury Festival also finished today, but you didn't have to travel to Somerset to experience it. A school near Concert in County Durham held its own version, as Richard Solkeld now reports. They've got the rock and the roll and the wellies. Moorside Community Technology College transformed its playground into a mini Glastonbury. My daughter went to uh, the Glastonbury Festival last year. She came back and she said, Dad, I've had a great idea for your next non-uniform day. Come to school dressed as if you're going to the Glastonbury Festival. So here we are. It's the first day of the real Glastonbury Festival and we're commemorating that in Moorside. As well as the usual sights and sounds you'd expect at Glastonbury, the school even secured a special video message from the Glastonbury organiser, Michael Evers. Right here, it will be our first day. The, the festival, the first day of the festival, and uh, but you're, I believe, all going to go dressed up to school as if you're going to Glastonbury. Students on the school council organised the day with special lessons on the environment and water conservation. The school has raised a thousand pounds for the charity Water Raid. Well, we've been organised since Christmas time. We've had that idea for quite a while now, but we're just really wanting to go for it and. All the student councils had a big uh, part in it and uh, we just really, really went for it. And we'll have to say thanks to the bands and everyone that's like donated stuff. Well, it's been a great success. As you can see, there's loads of people turned up, loads of things getting bought, and it's all going to a good cause. It seems this non-uniform day hit all the right notes with the students here as they're already setting their sights on how to better it next year. Richard Salkeld, in concert. They're experimenting with the right ones. We'll just see what the lads are doing here. This is Jake and Garrett. Uh, okay. Just tell us what you're doing, lads. Um, we've got to do instructions for a certain lesson on how to use apps for that lesson on the iPod. Apps on the iPod Touch, right, okay. Right, let's go to the classroom if we can. Noisy door. Okay, we've got, oh, we've got something else going on here. Okay. You see what they're doing? They're using flip video cameras to film what they're doing. Uh, I'd just like to say thank you to all the teachers at Moor's Side for uh, making my five years here enjoyable and um, very, very influential in getting my exam results, which I'm quite proud of. Um, thanks for all the support you give us, and um, thanks for the relationships that I had with all the teachers that I really enjoyed forming over the years. Thanks a lot.
Hi, I would just like to say a big thank you to all the teachers for giving us the results that I've got, especially to Mr. Allen and Mr. Jamieson, because they're the main ones that I need to get on the course at college. And I just like to say I'm on an advanced course at college, Newcastle College, with performing arts. This is, um, this is year 11, they just finished their history exam. Grant, come and talk to us. Okay, what was the history exam like? All right. Hi. It's good. Good, okay. You got a name? Also. Good man. Okay. And uh, what we've got here is a, is a rehearsal for Ernie's Incredible Hallucinations, which is a play we're doing at the end of term. Uh, and you can see that Mrs. Southgate's directing. Um, the gym's a nice space to use for this. Let's get a bit closer to hear what she's saying. Well, there we have it. I hope you've enjoyed our virtual look round Moorside and uh, you've particularly enjoyed seeing some of the hot spots of creativity that we have on offer here. And there's a lot more, so maybe I'll do this again one day. Um, if you'd like to comment on this blog, then just contact me on this email. And we're going to say goodbye now. So it's goodbye from everyone here at Moorside. Say goodbye, everybody. Bye. Bye.